Hello guys, I'm Yash. So today I will show you a very simple trick of uh, creating a blur effect. Uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here I have created a small sign in and sign up page. So here is the blur effect which uh, we will be creating. So let's get started. I'll get rid of the simulator. Okay, create a new Xcode project, single view application, name it blur effect and uh, do uh, make sure the settings are same as her uh, this settings may differ team organization name and identifier but uh, language will be swift device will be iphone and uh, do uncheck all the settings hit next save it wherever you want uh, i will save it in the youtube okay Okay, now here we are. Uh, we will not be doing any coding, so it's that simple. So let's get started. First of all, let's. Uh, you need an image. Here I have a background image. This one. Uh, you can get it uh, from Google, which whichever you like. Drag and drop it into your uh, project folder, and do make sure this uh, destination is uh, checked. Okay, copy items if needed because uh, if you try to launch it on your iphone it will not launch if the file is not copied here okay so here we have it so under main dot storyboard let's drag and drop an image view i'll full screen it image view and place it up top and uh, let's start giving constraints uh, zero from top zero from left zero from right and zero from bottom and do make sure this uh, red sticks are uh, highlighted and update frames to new settings items of new constraints so this will adapt to the new constraints add four constraints bam done okay simple uh, now let's assign the image to it so select image bg1 and uh, we will use aspect fill here we are looks good and now what uh, last thing we need is blur okay here it is and again place it on top of it and uh, what we will do is uh, again give it constraints so it will be zero from top zero from left zero from right and bottom zero okay and again updates to new constraints okay add four constraints so here we have it and uh, we can change a blur style from here it can be darker prominent effect and uh, what i like is light I keep it that way uh, now uh, we can get rid of this toolbar also so let's do that simple coding I'll make font size bigger so under view uh, after uh, did memory receive warning just type prefer prefers status bar hidden okay and open bracket close bracket and return true so what this will do is this will uh, hide that battery bar you know the up top bar so hit play run the project project is running okay so here we have it so this is a nice little trick of uh, creating a blood effect now what uh, you need to make sure uh, after doing this is that uh, you place stuff above the blur view okay so uh, let's say if you are taking a text field so make sure you place it above the blur view okay i will give some constraints to it so let's say 90 90 from top uh, zero from left zero from right and constraints to margins and height will be 30 update new constraints add four constraints okay now let's say this uh, thing this text box is behind the uh, visual uh, blood okay so it will not appear so make sure that it is after the blood effect okay so it will be visible so do make sure so i will command z undo the uh, stuff i did so let's run it again So here we have it guys, thank you, keep watching.